I'm Caitlin, an artist with Embroidery Library. Some of the most popular items to embroider are terry cloth towels. I'll share my tips with you from stabilizer to hooping to topping and what to do if that towel is just too troublesome to hoop. Choose designs that have nice solid fills like this. Avoid light stitching designs because those light stitches will sink right down and get lost in the terry cloth. I always wash and dry the towel before embroidering to pre-shrink it. Then I use a template to plan where I'll stitch the design. A template is a printout of the design. I'm positioning the design so that the bottom is four inches above the hem, centered between the sides. Mark the center point and the axis lines so you can hoop it straight. At first glance, terry cloth seems so hardy and strong, but the weave is actually pretty loose, so use cutaway stabilizer on the back. That's going to give the towel the best support. Spray a piece of cutaway stabilizer with temporary adhesive, then smooth the towel on top. When embroidering on terry cloth or any fabric with a loft or long pile, use topping to keep the stitches from sinking into the texture. I'm using a water-soluble stabilizer as a topping. I'm going to hoop all three layers, cutaway stabilizer, towel, and topping together. Open up the outer hoop, place the towel and cutaway stabilizer on it, then line up the marks on the towel with the marks on the hoop. Add the topping, then place the inner hoop on top of that. And get ready to do the hooping hokey pokey. Put your left arm across the whole thing and wiggle and jiggle the top hoop into place. When everything is as snug as a bug and lined up straight, tighten the screws on the outside of the hoop. Attach the hoop to the machine and make sure that any excess is out of the way so that the hoop can move freely. Then embroider the design. I use a size 11 needle. The topping keeps the stitching from sinking into the fabric. After you've finished, cut the excess stabilizer away from the back and tear the excess water-soluble stabilizer away from the front. Use a damp sponge to dab the remaining bits of stabilizer away. And doesn't that look gorgeous? Now, you saw me doing the hooping hokey pokey a minute ago. The hoop is really important to make sure you get good quality results and the stitches land evenly on the towel. So what do you do if the towel is too thick and you can't hoop it? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Spray a piece of cutaway stabilizer with temporary adhesive, then hoop it. Lay the towel on top with water-soluble stabilizer as topping. Use pins to affix the three together, but be sure those pins are going to stay well away from the needle. Attach the hoop to the machine and check to make sure that the hoop is going to move freely. Then embroider the design. When using this method, the hoop isn't holding the towel in place, so you may see shifting and gapping. It may not be as good as the results you'll get with hooping the towel, but it'll likely be good enough. Thanks for watching today, and visit our website for more tips and tutorials. The address is www.emblibrary.com. Thank you.